we've all been there where we've had to encourage ourselves or encourage someone else. And we use Psalms 46 verse one, the end part, the last sentence as the infamous exhortation, because there are plenty of situations that we face, that people face, that we face with, with people that we don't have the answers for, that we don't have the answers to. We cannot give the definitive answer as to why the what is happening or the how to the what is going to be cleared up or cleaned up. We don't have the answers and that's okay, but that's why we have the scripture. That's why we have the word and the Bible is explicit when the Bible says that we are to encourage each other while it is still day, while we are still here, we're to encourage each other. And so it's okay when we don't have the answers because um, God is the one with the answers. And I don't believe that he wants us to have all of the answers. I believe that he wants us to put our faith in him. And so as an intercessor, that's one of the things that we do is we may not have the answers, but we have the faith. We have the faith. And so Psalms 46, the last sentence of very present help in times of trouble. Um, I like the Young's literal translation a little bit more. It says in adversity, he can be found most surely in adversities, he, in adversities, he can most surely be found, talking about the Lord, a very present help. I like he can be found most surely, most surely he can be found in adversity. And so when we put on our holy analytics, um, because sometimes we read the word too fast and then we've got this Christianese vernacular that really doesn't land sometimes. And so sometimes we have to stop and we have to kind of put on um, knowledge. We've got to kind of analyze what God is saying. And then that's where we find hope. And then that's where we move to faith, right? Most surely, let's look at this. Most surely, most surely. That means, you know, without a, 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 a shadow of a doubt, it means in Emphatically, it means you can bet your bottom dollar, right? That in adversity, God can be found. Hmm, this is interesting. So while somebody is going through, while you and I are going through, while you may have something on your plate this morning, and we all do, that's the way it goes in life. There's something on your plate. And so our mind or the enemy of our mind wants us to think that we are responsible for getting off of our plate what's there. We are responsible for finding our own courage so that we can encourage ourselves. We are responsible for uh, for weaving the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness and the whole time in Psalms 46 verse one, God is saying, listen, I'm most surely there because I've already been here. You're walking through my story, history, his story. You're walking through my story. So not only am I gonna sit with you, walk with you, carry you, be with you while you go through this, I've already created the day that you will come out of this. I've already created the light at the end of the tunnel. I've already made a way of escape. I am the way of escape. I am the light at the end of the tunnel. I am the doorway out and into. I am your exodus, but I'm also your land that flows with milk and honey. So how can I not be present when I am all of these things to you? I am faith to you. I am liberty to you. And so in the moment of trouble, in adversities, right, in the place where we we feel like it would be dry and the place where we feel like it's lonely. How can it be? Because really it's a paradise where the spirit of the Lord is. And so when you have things on your plate and it feels like it's constraining you, the one that you call Jehovah, your liberty, when you feel like there's things on your plate and it is clamor clamorous and it, there's no clarity, how could it be when he is uh, Jehovah Shalom? He is your peace. And when you feel like your back is up against a wall and you don't don't know how you're going to move from here. He is your fortress. He is your refuge. He is your wall. The only back that your the only wall that your back is up against is Jehovah, your great defense. Jehovah, your wall. Jehovah, your fortress. And so this morning, I didn't come to yell at you, but I did come to encourage you. He is a very present help in your times of trouble. Most assuredly, in the day of adversity or in adversities, he can be found. He was there first. He got there before you got there. His spirit was already awaiting you. His spirit was already laid 
out the red carpet for you. Yep. In the day of trouble, you still go through like royalty. In the day of trouble, you still go through clean. You still come through Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You'll come through and you don't smell like smoke. Your hair's not singed. Your clothes not singed. Why? Because he is there. He is your great covering and he is the great coverer. And so this morning, I just wanted to encourage you that while your faith is high, because this is the summer of identity, this is the summer to remember that God is already there. He was there before you walked in. He was there before or as you walk out. He is with you all the time. He understands the terrain. He understands where to put your feet. That's why he says to you in the word, your, your steps are ordered. Your steps are ordered in the times of plenty. Your steps are ordered in the times of scarcity. Your steps are ordered in the times of joy. Your steps are ordered in the times of sorrow. Your steps are ordered. I've been there. I plotted out your steps. I've put the GPS already there, but then I don't make you go alone, says God. I'm right there with you, holding you, not just holding your hand, but I'm carrying you you, not just dragging you along. I was already there. And so father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this great truth of Psalms 46 verse one. We thank you, God, that you've already been there. And so we don't have to beg, plead for your presence because we cannot leave your presence according to Psalms 91, according to Acts. In you, we live, move, and have our very being. And so in times of adversity, it is no difference. And so we say this morning to everything of adversity, to every sound of adversity, meet God. Every place of adversity, every tight place, every bound place, every place that seeks to constrict and to uh, uh causes to be confined to a box. We say meet with Jehovah. Our God has already been here. He created the terrain that we are uh, traversing through. He created the terrain that you now trouble or trying to say that we are in. And he has caused our feet to be like hinds feet. Our feet are like hinds feet in the day of adversity and our feet are like hinds feet in the day of dancing. So we decree and we declare this morning that every day is the day of dancing and so father we thank you that while we're in the day of trouble or while we're in a moment of adversity you have always you have always you have always been here you're not just showing up 